Recording in progress. Okay, we're now being joined by Benson Henderson. No, go ahead. Benson, you've fought for titles, you've headlined all sorts of cards, but uh, you definitely look maybe the happiest I've ever seen you in the cage after that win. How special was that to, to get that and share that moment in front of your hometown crowd with your family? Uh, fighting in front of my uh, adopted hometown of Phoenix, Arizona, it's amazing, it's great. The last time I gave Arizona a very good show, win or loss, win or lose, you know, it wasn't a very good performance. And this time I thought I had a, a better performance. So when I lose, I, I can I can more live with that. Just having a, a, a good performance, not a great performance, but having a good performance as opposed to having a bad performance. When I lose, uh, you're always we are always after great performances. We're after we're seeking perfection, right? You you write a book, all these journalists, all these movie makers, they they want to make the perfect movie. They want to make an amazing movie. You want to do your absolute best out there, uh, and and that's what I'm always after. So having a, a better performance tonight, getting my hand raised is awesome. First time fighting from my, my my sons, my my two oldest, my six year old, my four year old. It's like, oh, daddy can't lose in front of my in front of the boys. Don't lose, don't lose, don't lose, don't lose. So it was uh it was it was a great night. Was, they're not all great nights, so I'm learning to definitely appreciate the 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 good nights when I have them. And split decisions haven't necessarily been kind to you in Bellator. So when you started to hear that, I mean, how nervous were you? Were you were you confident that you had it? Uh, oh, I, I felt I had, I felt I, I did enough to deserve to get my hand raised, but you just never know. Like re literally Burt Watson always says, you know, you leave it to the judges and they're going to make you cry. And I, I live by that. You're right. He, Burt Watson is absolutely right. Um, so I, I definitely didn't want to leave it to the judges. Uh, and then them announced a split decision. I was like, oh no, oh, my boys are in the ring. Oh no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I'm going to cry. But, uh, it was, it was a good night. So uh, I was thankful for it. A lot of submission attempts from both uh, you and Islam. Did you feel like at any point you were in trouble? No. Did what, what submissions did Islam go for? Uh, he went for a rear naked choke a couple times. Oh yeah, he had the rear naked a couple times. Nah, I was never too worried about that. I, I do a pretty decent job of uh, defending the rear naked. Sadly, I get there put a lot. How many times? How many fights have I has been in my career there? The guy hopped my dang back. The whole last three months, all I worked on was not giving my back. Three months, I just worked on don't give it back, don't give it back, don't give it back. Give it back, what, three times in that fight? But, yeah, I, I felt pretty comfortable. I, I didn't feel, like, in danger. Like, try to stay, you know, cool, calm, and, and collected and do the right defense, that sort of stuff. Uh, oh, no, he did have a tight one. I had to bail. I had to do the, the expire seat bailout. I had to die forward and hope, hope for the best. That's the fire escape defense. Very last thing you can do, somewhere on your back, you got to go, you gotta, you know, you got to go for that fire escape. So I did the fire escape defense. Uh, thankfully, it worked for me. But yeah, that one was tight. That rear naked was tight. And then um, after the fight, you and Habib, you know, kind of talked a little bit in the cage. I think some of the mics maybe picked up some of the stuff you guys were talking about. Uh, what did you say there? Uh, I just said I'm a, I'm a big fan of his uh, and that, you know, I, I've seen, heard rumors of a Eagle FC or something like that. So well, that was it. Uh, congratulations, obviously. Thank I mean, you, Sean. I appreciate we're it. talking about the scrambles and, and the submissions. Looks like you ha you were pretty close to getting him a couple times there, especially early. Did you feel like those uh, early guillotine attempts were pretty close? Oh, for sure. I think the the first guillotine attempt, the high elbow guillotine attempt, definitely took a lot of the uh, wind out of it, wind out of his sail. I think uh, I didn't quite get it. I wasn't able to finish it. I was close to finishing it though. I, w I was very close to him going to sleep actually, um, but he did just enough to uh, get out of it and defend it. But I definitely felt coming out of it, him pulling his head out of it. He took a big deep breath, <sighs> like you know when you get your oxygen cut off for a while. You finally pop your head out. Like he, he definitely took a lot of wind, his wind of his hill on, on that one. I mean, you're basically fabled for your submission defense at this point. It, it's legendary. Uh, but, I mean, you, you even mentioned that one was close where you had to do the fire escape. Was that one of the closer times you've ever been to getting submitted in your career? Um, I, I've been, been submitted a couple of times. Uh, but de definitely one of the more closer ones for the rear naked. I think I, I do a pretty good job of uh, fundamental defense, you know. If they have the one hand around your neck, go for the other hand, control that two on one and, and don't let them use two hands to, to choke you. Um, but definitely the, the, one of the closer rear naked that I've uh, had to fight off in my career. It almost looked like you were kind of emotional in there, just even when they were announcing the scorecards and then especially after the win. I mean, what was going through your head there? Uh, uh, not knowing how much longer I'll be doing this. So just truly enjoying the good nights, taking a step back. And, and looking at it, taking perspective, I'll leave the perspective, the scope and all that to you guys to write it up. But I, for myself, wanted to step back and, and take a look at it and enjoy the night, enjoy myself being here in Phoenix, Arizona, looking up into the crowd and seeing my friends, my, my family in, in the crowd 
and uh, and, and celebrating and enjoying with them, ha having a, a good night. I, I don't know how much longer I'll be doing this for, for Bellator, so I wanted to uh, I wanted to soak it all in. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't hear it in here, but it seemed as if you almost said something to the effect of like, I don't know if this was my last fight. Was that, was that you said yeah, that in there? Yeah, I'm not sure if this will be my last fight or not, so. I want to, you know, I want to enjoy it. I want to enjoy the the W, enjoying it. My hand raise, uh, might keep going, might not. We'll we'll find out. Is is retirement been something you've been thinking uh, about? Th this is my last fight on my deal with Bellator. Okay. Uh, they pay me a lot of money. I might have overfought, uh, underfought my contract. So uh, going to the renegotiations, I'm not, I'm not sure that how they're going to treat me. Uh, we'll see. We'll find out. But I, I do know that. Uh, if this is the last one, this is a great, a great way to go out. If it's not even if let's say this is the last Bellator fight, obviously it may not be. But is there a chance this is your last fight period in your MMA career? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't wow. know. I, 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 I do know that uh, I would like to continue fighting. Uh, but, you know, other things have to line up. My, my wife is going to go pro pretty soon. We got four babies. I got to be home to take care of those babies. Four kids. You know, one's always sick. So like one of us, her or I. One of us always has to be home with this with this sick kid or the kid has to stay home and, and do this and that. Man, four kids is a lot of work. So, you know, if, if I have to become a stay-at-home dad, that might be the case. And mom is going to go take over and, and bring home the bread. Well, then last one from me. I mean, you met, you told us in the lead-up, I wanted the fight that was going to get me closest to the title shot. And that was sort of how this came together. Yeah. If you do re-sign with Bellator, is it, do you expect to sort of jump into a title picture immediately there? I, I would certainly hope so. Kid, not kid, uh, Mamadov, uh, the amazing great fighter that it is. He just beat the guy who beat me, uh, 19 fights in a row. No one else wanted to fight him. They asked the, the Brazilian guys, they don't want to fight him. They asked the Irish guys, they don't want to fight him. They said, Hey, we can't find anybody to fight this guy. Like, we need, we need someone to fight him. Will you step up? Will you do it? I said, I'm a company man, for sure, of course. But, like, you know, like him being on a 19 fight win streak, him having a not, not necessarily a big name, but no one in the division wants to fight him. Like, like I want to, I want, I want the fight that's going to take me to the title shot right away. I want the, the quickest shot possible. And they said Mamadov, so I said yes. I, you know, bet on myself. Like I, like I do an on, like I've done so many times in my career. I, I put all the chips myself. I, I work my butt off uh, and, and bet on myself. And, and this bet paid off. I, I got my hand raised. Uh, Benson, uh, congratulations on the victory. Thank uh, you, man. In, at media day, you alluded to the fight against Primus. He may, maybe Primus uh, caught you off guard with the way he was fighting in there. So this fight specifically, do you think you game planned well enough? In like everything you had planned happened inside that. Oh, that for game? sure. I, I think this fight uh, against Mamadov. Um, I mean, you know, hats off the Primus. He he did a great job. He he got his hand raised. He he did what he needed to do. Uh, I was surprised by his game plan. I was surprised by him insisting on the wrestling, going for takedowns, and my dumb butt. Like, why would you be surprised by that? Like, so it was a uh, Ryan Bader. Ryan Bader. Get it. Oh, uh, uh, so yeah, I, I did a better job of being prepared for mom and I was wrestling knowing, yeah, he's going to wrestle like, yeah, of course he's going to come wrestle you. And then, you know, my wrestling defense was, was not too bad. And I was up to the task to, to get my hand raised. Anything from him surprised you or maybe you weren't expecting from him in there? Um, he hit me with a clean two and then he threw four or five body kicks. I, I wasn't necessarily expecting him to throw. Uh, the body kicks, and I don't think none of them landed super clean or anything, but I was just more surprised by it. I every, every time we scouted them, we saw some like, like you know, not super crisp hands and whatnot. But he went the clean two, took me by surprise. I was like, oh, yeah, that was, move your head, Anderson. Let's go. Let's get going. Um, but nothing was super surprising. But he landed a good clean two. He threw more kicks than I thought he was going to. Hey, Benson. Congratulations on an amazing night. Uh, Thank you, man. Mamadov was seen grabbing the fence a little bit, especially in the second round. Did you notice that during the fight? And how do you feel Jason Herzog, the referee, handled that? Uh, Jason Herzog is a man. He did a great job. He did, he did his job uh, perfectly. And uh, uh, not to not for nothing, but like at my gym, that lab, I won't, I won't be shy about it. But we train to uh, take every advantage we can. Yeah. And if you know we can get away with one, then we'll get away with one, no problem. So I'm not gonna be you know surprised or be taken back or be mad. Oh, he uh, did this, and no, I'm sad because he did that. Like, like, oh yeah, good job, dude. Like, you you did good. The referee didn't catch that. Good job. Go ahead. All right, all right. I'm not gonna let you do it again though.
Uh, and the fans seem to think that it was 1-1 going to the third round. So after the second round, did you feel it was 1-1? And what are some of the things your coaches told you heading into the third uh, round? I, my coaches told me that it was probably 1-1 going to the third round. And I needed to make sure I, stay, I stayed standing. Don't let, don't let me take down. Don't, obviously, don't give up your back. Um, and uh, I tried to do my best in that third round. Hey, Benson, congrats, congrats on the win. Thank you, um, First off, so it's kind of you, Bader, and Henry Cejudo are kind of like the faces of Arizona MMA. When you I can hear live with that. Heck, yeah. When you hear something like that, like how does that make you feel? That, that for a long time you've kind of carried MMA around here. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. Henry Cross is my boy. He trained the MMA lab for a long time. I love Henry Cross. He, he's awesome. He's, he is the man. He is a, a, a stand-up good guy as, as they come. I love Henry. Um, Ryan Bader's a great dude. Been been buddies, friends with Ryan Bader for a long time. You know, he he he's the man also. So, uh, being in the amongst those guys, it's awesome. It's great. You know, uh, I think that the Valley has been strong in MMA for a long time. Going back to Don Fry, right? Like MMA has been strong in, in in Arizona for a long time. And for me to be up there among those names of of guys who are you know carrying MMA in in Arizona. Young Abel. Idoa. Namja. Idoa. Idoa. And then one more, just, uh, I'm just curious about this. You know, Khabib's kind of been defaulted as the 155 pound goat, but you used to fight in that division. When you look at Khabib, can you kind of take yourself there and wonder how you would have fought him if you guys would have hooked up in your primes? Uh, I think against Khabib, I would have tried my best to do the exact same thing I did uh, to Mamadov today. Uh, it could be pretty darn good. If I gave up my back to Khabib, it might be another story. Um, but, you know, I, yeah, I would try to do the same thing. Oh, I think uh, oh, it's an uh, energy drink. It's a monster energy drink. Oh, uh, but, yeah, I think uh, Khabib would, would be a, a fun fight. Um, maybe one of these days we'll, we'll train against each other, and uh, we'll get it on video and put it on YouTube for free for you guys. Uh, Benson, one more. Uh, how do these two gentlemen uh, like fight night? How do you like fight night? How do you like watching the fights? You liked it? My oldest, Kyung, said he liked it. Come, how'd you like it? You like the fights tonight? Yeah? yeah. <laughs> they got pizza and candy. This guy liked it a lot. Priorities, Cub, Cub right? Arthur liked it a lot. Congrats. Congrats, Princeton. That was uh, awesome. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys. Thanks. Uh, Recording stopped. stopped. Are you doing that? No, we're all done now. Huh? We're all done now. Say hi. Say, say hey. Say hey. Kyung, say. Let's go.